me one day, like a year later after I graduated back in 99, long time ago, right? Where I was on the bus and I see this skinny dude. Like, who is he? So I went up to him and I was like, hey guy, you tag? It's like he stuck his head out the out his out of his hoodie and he said, Yeah, I used to. And I said, yo, what up man? It's I'm one. So what's up, Metro? As we were talking, I was like, yo man, so what do you do for fun or whatever? And uh, he's like, yeah, I'm a house DJ. I said, cool. So then later on, as we started talking and stuff and went to school together, I was like, hey man, I want to rap. Can you produce some beats? Sure. And that's how we came about, you know, Zyme, Zyme and Metronics and all that good stuff. Me and Zyme, when we were recording, of course, I was recording him. We used to call them 50 takes. Well, one day after recording this one song, it took up took about 60 takes. We're fighting. And Metronics is pissed. You're not rhyming it right, or you're not doing this. Delivery, this and that. So, you know, before that, I had already thought about uh, starting a little radio show, hearing things that I wanted to hear on the radio. And he said, let's start a radio show, man. You know, we'll play the hip hop that we like. They hated the shit that was on the radio. It was it was horrible music. Had no substance, had no meaning, had no reason. So they decided to put the stuff they liked. Trap Called Quest, De La Souls, uh, all that good stuff. <laughs> Souls of Mischief, keep going. In 05, we started for your radio. I met DJ Matronics on online, oddly enough. It wasn't no to catch predator shit. We actually we met through a chat room. They were doing this little text battle, and Metro tried to type some shit up, and it wasn't it wasn't fly. It wasn't good. And I called him on. I told him, "Hey, dog, it's not good." The dude stopped me from rhyming, just to let y'all know. It was just bad lyrics. No, no this, no this Metro. It was, it was you know. And I called him on, and he's like, "I'm not a I'm not a MC. I'm a DJ." I was like, "I, I could tell." Thanks, bitch. So we, we started politicking back and forth, and I found that he produced. I found that he was a DJ, he produced, and I, I'm, I ended up meeting him a couple days later, and he hooked me up with some beats. That's how I met Metronics. He was first my producer, and that's how I met Zyme, because Zyme and Metronics were homeboys. And I come to find out that Metronics and Zyme eventually decided to do like a radio show, an online radio show, and I just wanted to be a guest and because I had a microphone. They're like, they're like, hey, bring your microphone because you have one, we can interview you. And so I brought it and eventually it just it became a repetitive process. Hey, we're gonna do the show, um, bring your microphone. And I wouldn't do anything, I would just sit in the back. I would just sit there and, and watch them record. And eventually they're like, well, talk. You can talk on, talk on the mic. And slowly I, I, you know, I became a part of Free Our Radio, talking shit, saying this and that. It became our chemistry. What worked? I got, I I design. Zyme would diss me. Metro would design. I would design. Zyme would diss one of us. Zyme would just blow up, and it became our chemistry. People liked that chemistry because it was it was funny. This is gonna sound horribly wrong, but if We Are Radio was a sandwich, Zyme One would be the meat. Zyme One is the funniest motherfucker. Falling in El Paso's hip hop scene. Z <laughs> Zyme One. This is gonna sound. This is gonna sound very um, out of line. But Zyme One is the reason for our radio is listened to as much as it is. For the fact that he's such a he's such a firecracker. Just goofball. I love that he always finds a way to talk about taking a shit or something else equally raunchy. Just like you know. <laughs> He's fucking foul. <laughs> Shit, he can edit that out. Man. He's a different type of individual. You don't know what the fuck he's thinking. He lives in his own weird ass world. He says funny stuff. It's just random. He he picks his spots to talk, and that makes it hilarious. If I could describe his line in one word, crazy problem. And it, it's just so off the wall. He he takes the reins of the horse. Does that make sense? Yeah. And he just goes off with them. Just, that. 
is on, on his own path. And, and that's what's cool about Zion. Zion's very, Zion's the comical one of the show. And we just play off him. I love disgusting people, and Zion one is like has no qualms about being disgusting on air. <laughs> Schwab. <laughs> dope, dope friend. He's been a friend before. He's been uh, pretty much a co-member of the group, and you know it's it's been lovely, man. He's a good dude and a good sense of humor. Physics. Physics is a very talented dude. Cocky, but talented. <laughs> <laughs> no, but the physics man, but the physics is a good dude, man. You know, he's also a great friend. 